What's up everyone back with more Pico CTF 2023 reverse engineering challenges. So continuing on, we solved Ready Gladiator Zero in reverse in previous videos. Let's go down the line and look at Safe Opener 2. So we click here, right? Description, what can you do with this file? I forgot the key to my safe, but this file is supposed to help me with retrieving the lost key. Can you help me unlock my file? And then we can click here, look at the hint. Download and try to decompile the file. Cool. We we're going to do that anyway, but it's cool to have that in a hint if you're not sure. So what is decompiling? What does that even mean? So when you're programming, when you're creating um, applications and stuff, right, especially in C or C++, you run it through a compiler like GCC or Clang, and it turns your C source code <laughs> it turns your C source code file into a binary assembly language, right? The compiler turns your high level C into the low level assembly of machine code instructions. And then a decompiler will try to do the opposite, right? It will take that binary executable and it will convert that into C code. A disassembler will take the binary and convert that back to assembly, whereas a decompiler will revert it back to that original source code file. A little confusing, I know. So download with wget safe opener dot class. Okay. So it ends in dot class. I'm assuming this is a Java file. Let's run file on it. Yeah. Compiled Java class data version 52. So I don't believe I have Java installed on this computer, so I can't just execute it. I need to install some type of Java compiler. Oh, let's see. Java safe opener. Does that work? Does that do anything? Oh, nice. So I guess Kali Linux comes with Java installed. So it picks up whatever, I wonder if these are some type of like compilation flags. I'm not sure what this is. Enter password for the safe. The password must be please sub. Hit enter. It prints out some weird characters. Password is incorrect. You have two attempts left. All right, well, if I just paste that in. Oh, okay. This looks like a base 64. Let me right click, split terminal vertically. Oh, that made everything really tiny for some reason. Now base64 to code that. Base64 to code this right here. Oh, it just gives me that. Hit enter. I, I don't know. Oops. Is that the password? No. And it gives me this. What is this value? Oops. Oh, so it base64 encodes whatever you enter, and then it prints that out to you. I wonder why. Password is incorrect. Let me exit out of this. Let me open up Tmux, okay, just so I can easily make new panes if I need to. Can I do Ltrace on this? Ltrace, Java, safe opener. Okay. It doesn't like that. I wonder if I can really only do that for ELF files. Let's try again with strace for system calls. Enter the password. LOL. Password's incorrect. Okay, base64 encodes that. Let's enter garbage. Garbage. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's run strings. Nonetheless. Okay. We see init. Args. Password. Open safe. Safe opener Java. Buffer reader. Oh, once again, we just see the flag. So we can kind of cheese it out. Is, is that correct? Is that the answer? Nice. Okay. So probably not the intended solution. So let's keep going. Let's see if we can learn something more than just running strings to look at the ASCII human readable strings. Okay. Password is incorrect. Safe opener. Sesame open. Is that the password? Hit up arrow, sesame, open. Okay, that's not the password. So the hint said to decompile this. Let's look up a Java decompiler. All right, is this promising? I'd rather not install anything if I don't have to. Okay, so that's one resource online, Java. 
Decompiler. Java Decompiler Online. Decompile Java code in the cloud. K. Okay. You can select what type of decompiler you want. Hopefully that's big enough. Nice. So browse, Kali, YouTube, there, reverse engineering, safe opener two. There we go. Select our file, open. So this should return it to that original Java code. Upload and decompile. Click that button. So this is cool. If you already have some type of decompiler installed, right? Over here on this tab, they recommend JD Project, JD GUI, JD Eclipse. I don't, I'm not a programmer really, I, especially not a Java programmer. If I do code, it's in Python or C. So I don't have these tools installed. Maybe you can do it in Ghidra, that'd be worth a shot. Oh, here we go. That worked pretty quickly. So we can scroll down. We see the different libraries that it imports. So base64, we know what base64 encodes stuff from the output in the terminal. Some type of readers, I guess, to read user input. I'm not really sure what those are. It tells us what it was decompiled by. So this is cool. It took that assembly, that binary, and made it into something that we can read. So public static void main. It declares some variables. So keyboard, encoder. Here's our for loop, so it'll do something three times, right? While zero is less than three, so it executes this code right here three times, where it just asks us to enter the password. It saves what we enter into a variable called key, and then it and then it encodes our key with base64, and then it prints it out to us. I don't know why it does that. Maybe just something to like throw us off, or I have no idea. But it basically for encodes our input and then it prints it out to us. And then it tells us how many tries we have left. So final Boolean is open. So it runs this function called open safe on whatever the encoded key is. And if it's correct, it exits out of here. And if it's not, if it's not correct, it'll say you have this many tries left. So what is this open safe function? We scroll down here, we see it. It takes one argument, one parameter called password, it's a string. So it saves the flag as the encoded key, if password equals encoded key. So once again, the password just is the flag. So you wouldn't know this unless you decompile it or run strings. So if I copy this, right click copy, and I come over here and I rerun Java save opener, and I paste that in, it base64 encodes it and it says correct, our password is incorrect. So I'm misunderstanding this. Oh, it needs to be password equals the encoded key. So if you grab this and slam that in, oops, that's not what I wanted. If you grab this, slam that in, password is incorrect. Wow. Hmm. If password equals encoded key, print sesame open return true. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why entering this, if password equals this hard coded value, it should print out sesame open. If I'm understanding this, it shouldn't have to be base64 encoded. Hmm. Oh well. I don't feel like debugging this any further. For whatever reason, when we enter the password, it does not set this to true. So if I'm missing something glaringly obvious, shame on me. Let me know in the comments below. But there you have it. The password is here. It's hard coded. And we found it with strings and we found it with the online decompiler. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm very curious to know um, what kind of decompilers you guys recommend. If I were to open this up in like Giger or Ida, would it have done the same thing? Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. As always, take it easy and see you in the next video.